Hello and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video we are looking at the best fletching training method in the game by far and today's video is completely different from the previous ones. We've done smithing and crafting, the best smithing and crafting training method in the game over in Priftness. It was 16 million XP per hour but it was crazy expensive. Then we've done the best cooking method in the game which is those uncooked curries which are really chilled, really AFK but they're also pretty expensive. Today's method is completely different. Instead of losing a load of money training with this method, you make a crazy, crazy amount of profit. So a couple of days ago, I got to training my fletching. Now I was thinking, what is the best fletching training method in the game? I thought I'd just make arrows up to high level. I found if you use these here, dragon fruit pies, you can boost up your fletching. You can use the higher arrows. It's really, really fast XP per hour. At level 78, I started boosting up to use amethyst arrows and you actually get 550k XP per hour making Amethyst Arrows, which is pretty good, but it is 4.2 GP per XP. So if you want to use that method from level 80 up to level 99, it's going to cost you over 45 mil, which is crazy expensive. Nobody wants to spend 45 mil on fletching. So what is the best fletching training method in the game? I looked on Wiki, looked on YouTube, tried to find a really good one. The best one people were recommending was to make bolts or to make darts. These actually interact really strange in old school RuneScape. You're supposed to be able to just make one thing in an interaction, but with bolts and darts it's different. You can pretty much make these as quick as you can click. So every single time I make 10, I get 120 XP. But if you look at my XP drops, some of them are double that. Sometimes I'm making two sets of bolts in one game tick which is pretty cool if you could click really really fast this would probably be one of the fastest fletching training methods in the game i'm not that good at clicking though and after doing this for about 10 minutes i was ready to pull my eyes out fletching darts and bolts and all is just too clicky for me could not be bothered the other method i'm going to show you is now in a second it's much more xp per hour and way less clicky and it doesn't cost any money it makes you profit so what is the best fletching training method in the game i think it's heavy ballistas now you're probably thinking oh you need Monkey Madness 2 to make heavy ballistas. I have not completed Monkey Madness 2 and I had a crack at this and it let me make them so there must be no requirements to making heavy ballistas apart from having the fletching level. And the fletching level needed is only level 72 so you could actually boost up from level 68 fletching to make these things. So for any of you guys who have never made these before they have four different parts. There's a frame, a spring, a limb and a monkey tail. You put the four pieces together and you actually get 660 XP. But the main chunk of that XP, the last 600 XP is just from putting together the unstrung ballista and the monkey tail. Once you add the monkey tail onto the unstrung ballista you get 600 XP. This is actually very similar to the curries. So with the curries it'll take a couple of steps to put together the unfinished curry and then when you cook the final bit, the final bit of the product, you get the massive chunk of XP. But the difference with this and the curries is the final piece that they're like finished unsprung ballista is tradable in the Grand Exchange. So you can buy the two pieces you need to get that massive chunk of XP. The unstrung ballista and the monkey tail. Now if you do go down that route of buying just the final two pieces it will lower your profit quite a bit but have a look at this right the three pieces to make the unstrung ballista the three first pieces are only 94.7k most of the price of a heavy ballista is in the tail but the first two pieces are only 66k you put them together and it's worth 80k 14k profit just for adding those two pieces together which is crazy if you add the tail on then the final piece it goes up from 108k to i think 111 and none of these were buying i was trying to buy loads of these but nobody seems to be doing this which is just crazy 111k from 94k in a couple of seconds just be making these things then you add the tail on and that's where it gets proper crazy so the final step to making a heavy ballista is adding a monkey tail onto an unsprung ballista and this here gives you 600 XP for every single one which is just crazy. Wait until you see how fast you can make these things. So it took me a while to buy up these supplies. I'll go into that after because it's kind of what makes this method a bit tricky. But once you have all the supplies built up, look at this. I've reset my XP per hour. It's 600 XP drops every single time. You can make 14 in a go, so it's not clicky. It's not like darts. It's also not like bolts. Remember those bolts at the start of the video? I was getting 820k XP per hour, clicking like a madman. Not AFK at all and really like tricky to make, you know? I don't like making bolts and I was losing a load of money, right? Now have a look at this. It's up now, similar XP per hour, 720k we're hitting. There's 800, but this isn't gonna stop for a while. I've got a load to make here and wait until you see how much XP per hour this goes up to.
Oh boy, does this method look good. Over 1.5 million XP per hour. I think I get up to 1.61, but then I found out later on when I was doing these, you can close your bank by pressing escape if you set it up to do that, you know? And you can also make them by pressing spacebar. Instead of dragging your mouse all the way over the screen and clicking on those two buttons, you can just use the buttons on your keyboard. It makes you much more accurate and a wee bit faster. So you could probably get this method up to 1.65 mil XP per hour, which is insane. So those there bolts at the start of the video was 820 XP. It was half the XP pretty much if you're doing this efficiently. Half the XP. To go from level 80 up to level 99 with dragon bolts would take you just under 14 hours to do it with this method. Just under 7 hours. From level 80 to level 99. That is really good. One of the quickest 99s in the game. But there is a wee bit of a problem with that. You can't just go straight to 99 with these things. There's not enough supply and demand. Would take you a long time to get all the supplies bought. To do this up to a really high level. But yeah. The XP per hour is insane. Do you know what else is pretty crazy? This is a really low fletching level to do these things. You only need level 72 to make the heavies. But if you look at a light ballista, it gives you half the XP, right? It gives you 300 XP for every single one you make, exactly half. So that will give you 750k plus XP per hour. And they only need levels 47 fletching. You can get 750k XP per hour in fletching at level 47. You can still boost up to that level 47, so really level... 43 or something yeah level 43 fletching 750k xp per hour that is pretty good you go from level 43 to level 72 in like maybe an hour or something would take you a long time to buy all the ballista parts but that there would just be crazy if you preemptively bought them you know for maybe a week and then made them all you just fly up fletching levels that is the only problem with this method that I can see. It's crazy XP, crazy profit, so if it was like no problems at all, everybody would be doing it. The only problem with this method is the supply of the parts. You can only buy a couple of these per day, so it does take quite a while to buy them. I bought all these over two accounts in three days, so it took me three days to get all the supplies for this video. But when you see the profit, you'll just be like, this is crazy. But yeah, what you want to do if you want to train Fletching is buy these for a couple of days and then train. And then you just get a massive chunk of XP in a very short space of time you know and load of profit so yeah definitely a really good fletching method highly recommend checking it out i think straight after this video goes up <laughs> the method's gonna crash for a while like some of my other methods so yeah what i do is leave it for a week or two wait till it dies down a wee bit and then check it out because then less people will be trying it so yeah maybe in a month or something this method will be awesome again but let's jump over and see how much profit we made so at 600 XP per ballista, and we were getting just under 1.6 mil per hour, that works out at just over 2,600 ballistas per hour, just to give you a profit margin here. If you don't have full hour of making these ballistas, you'd make 2,600 or just over that per hour. Every single ballista, every heavy ballista at the minute, is selling for 576,900. That's a wee bit lower than it was at the weekend. At the weekend, these were going for 584k each. I think there's more PKers on at the weekend. But yeah, every single blister there is making a bit of a crazy profit, depending on which part of this method you do. If you just use the final two bits, the monkey tail and the unstrung blister, it costs you 566k each. So that's 8k for every single blister you make. 8k times, what was it, 2633 per hour times eight you're looking at a profit of 21 million gp per hour making heavy ballistas that's if you do the final two bits if you get somebody else to put them together or if you put them together yourself then it will take you a tiny bit longer but your profit will be massive all the parts separately cost under 550k you put them together and they're worth what was it 577k yeah over 27k profit for every single bliss you make, which is crazy. If you made 2,600, which would take you more than an hour now if you're putting them together, you'd make 71.4 mil profit. Blisters are just pretty crazy. I'm definitely gonna use these up to level 99. It will take me about six months, but I'm happy enough with that. It will take a long time, but I'll make a load of money from it and it'll be really chill. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a couple of blisters every few days. Light blisters, as I was saying, they'd be the best fletch and trainer method in the game from a really low level. I think it's level 47 you need, but you can use that pie that I was using to boost up a plus four. These give 300 XP. I didn't get many of them, but you do lose 9k for every blister you make. You could probably sell them a wee bit higher at the weekend you can probably break even but at current prices these here lose 9k for every single one but what i done was bought the incomplete frames or the unstrung frames of a light blister if i bought all the parts and put them together it might be a wee bit cheaper but yeah 9k loss in light blisters anyway that is all we have time for today i hope you guys enjoy this method 
I've really enjoyed this one, some nice profit for me. Speaking of profit, one last thing before we go. I've been running these little flip wars in the CC. Two of you guys come together, you go head to head with a 500 mil budget in a wee flip war. A, whoever gets the most profit from their item in the five minutes wins and takes away the profit from the two items. It's just a wee bit of fun in the CC. It's like you guys flipping with my money for five minutes, if that makes sense. Just really been enjoying flipping lately. I've made a crazy bit of profit over the past few weeks. Been posting all the flips in this Discord as well. So if you want to get involved, hop in the Discord or hop in the CC. We'll be running that all week. Just a wee bit of fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video very soon. Take it easy. Bye.